My Lords, it not being convenient for Her Majesty personally to be present here this day, she has been pleased to cause a commission under the Great Seal to be prepared for proroguing this present Parliament. When a Parliament is elected at a general election, it has a maximum life of five years. Normally, that five-year period is divided into five one-year chunks called sessions. Sometimes there are four slightly longer, with one slightly longer, sometimes there are five. And each of those sessions is ended by a prorogation. Prorogation is the Queen saying to Parliament, thank you very much, you've done your work for this time, go away and come back in a few weeks' time. It's marked by representatives of the Queen coming in, dressed up in red robes, to convey to Parliament what the Queen's views are. Traditionally, in ancient times, the Queen herself or the King would come and prorogue Parliament in person, but this hasn't happened for a long time. The Queen now sends five people who are called commissioners who represent her. They come into the chamber, they sit down, they ask the Black Rod in the House of Lords to go and get the House of Commons to come and join the House of Lords. When everyone's gathered together, the commissioners then explain to Parliament what the Queen wants to do, that she wants the session to end. And then uh, a government minister makes a little speech explaining what's happened during the course of the last year. If you've ever seen the state opening of Parliament on television, it's a bit like that in reverse. But the big difference is there's less a ceremonial and the Queen herself doesn't come. She sends these five commissioners to do that job for her. Prorogation is different when there's a general election coming up because 25 days before a general election, Parliament is dissolved, it ceases to exist. So a prorogation happens and then a few days later a dissolution will follow. It hasn't always been the case that Parliament's been prorogued just before a general election. Sometimes it's just been dissolved, but it is general practice for a prorogation to happen, for there to be a ceremony for everyone to hear what's been going on, to hear the Queen's message at that point before Parliament is formally dissolved for the general election. The dissolution doesn't happen in Parliament, it's just automatic under the Fixed-Term Parliament Acts of, uh, Act of, of 2011.